Auzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim Dear brothers and sisters assalamu alaikum and peace be on all of you and welcome to maxafter.com's another cool tutorial In this tutorial we will be simulating a water effect as if it's sliding down a glass surface This video is also posted in my blog so if you want to see a better result you can uh, log on to my blog and watch the video So this is what we'll be doing So it's a very simple effect and shouldn't take long. So are you guys ready? Okay, let's first start by uh, making a new comp. You go and click on this button here, which says create a new composition. And we select our preset, which is NTSC D1 widescreen square pixels. And frame rate is 29.97. And let's say it's around probably 10 seconds. And we click OK. Here we are in our new comp. We'll name this logo touch and we drag this into our precom so we'll keep our project neat and clean here we are okay let's uh, make a background we go to layer new solid and we click make comp size and we press ok go to the effects and presets and we type ramp and we bring our ramp in so if you drag it on here it applies the ramp in our ramp let's create the colors click on the white here and Select, choose the colors that you like. It's just I'm choosing green because it's my corporate color. And choose this one. Let's go and type a text. Layer new text. So we'll write max after. And we select our font. You can just you can choose the font that you like. Okay, let's make our text a little bigger. Um, that's fine and let's make another copy of this, we go to edit and duplicate we bring it down, press shift and bring it down so it comes down vertically ok, let's type motion design let's bring the size down bring it up, you can roughly match it with this you can also match it, you know, with the scale, you can bring up the scale by control R on your keyboard and then you can you know you can do match it perfectly this is one way of doing it you know since this is a tutorial so we'll not use it we just want to go through it quickly okay and we do the same again edit duplicate bring it down and let's type tonight 10 p.m. and let's move it a bit towards right Ok, let's move on to our next step which is uh, we'll create a boundary for this we go to layer, new, solid and keep it white, make comp size and press OK and now we go and select our rounded rectangular tool and we double click on it <coughs> so we got our rectangular mask here so we can double click on the mask when we press ALT, CTRL and SHIFT at the same time and then we can decrease the size, you know proportionally double click on it to come out of it and then we come here select the mask and then we control D we get a copy of it and then we can change this one to subtract and let's press MM on your keyboard and open up the parameters and um, we change this one to 57 let's say and this one to make it bigger okay that's fine okay, since we have made our first um, comp which is logo comp so now what we do is we'll drag our logo comp which is this one and make a new comp so we are in a new comp now we can call this final touch bring it out and come up here so this is our final comp here now okay let's go and make another comp we got a composition new composition make the same size we call this one fractal and press OK let's control R to remove the scales okay um, we go to layer new solid and make it comp size and we go and type here fractal 
fractal noise. Let me drop it on our layer here. And let's change a few settings here. We go to transform and uncheck uniform scaling. And we change this to 1 and we change this one to 495. And we change settings here to let's say 200. And this one to minus 72. We go to evolution and we press Alt and click on the evolution stopwatch and we write a small expression which is time times 300. So we got our evolution is moving. Okay, also we want to move it, you know, down because this will be used in the waterfall, you know, as if the water is falling down. So what we do is we go to um, offset turbulence and let's put a keyframe here for offset turbulence and we come here to the end and we move it uh, down. So this will basically be um, used as a map, you know, for water. If you don't understand it, uh, bear with me, it'll make sense in a second. Now also, we want this to die, you know, because this map will be used for water. So basically, if you go to the final, you'll see that here at two seconds. Uh, if I close all the, if I leave this one on, you see that this is the bump I'm talking about, you know, the fractal noise. It's a bit hard when it starts and dies off slowly. You know, when it comes here, it dies. So this is what we want to achieve here. So go back to our fractal, two seconds.